Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is part four video on ASP.NET Core Identity Series. So in this video, we are going to implement two-factor authentication code sending to your phone number. Now to send authentication code or two-factor authentication code to to the user mobile, we should have a some provider okay so for this sms service i am going to use the filio provider okay this is filio website so please make sure to sign up with this website okay since i have already signed up i am going to log in Okay, on successful login, we are going to land on this console.filio.com. Okay, once you enter, you have to create a project here. You see here, I have already created my project. Once you create a project, Filio will provide you one account SID and authentication key, means token, and one Filio phone number, you have to enable it. So this will be our from a phone number okay and here i am going to use the free credits to consume the sms service okay here you can see these are the free credits left for me okay here one limitation with the free trial is that here you can see a message you are in a trial account you can only send messages and make calls to verified phone number means you have to register the user phone numbers also okay since it is a free trial if it is if it is a paid version you no need to register any user phone numbers okay if you click on it you can see these are all my phone numbers okay i have registered these are my two phone numbers i have registered so i am going to use this one of the phone number as a user phone number to fetch the sms okay so coming to our ASP.NET Core identity to enable the two-factor authentication code for mobile number, the minimum requirement is it should user must have the phone number and phone number must be confirmed and two-factor enabled. So let me update the phone number and phone number confirmed to true. Okay. And here I am going to add my phone number. Okay, you must have these three columns for the mobile or phone number to factor authentication. Okay, now we have to integrate the uh, SMS service in our ASP.NET Core identity application. So, first let's configure the Twilio settings. So, for that, what I will do, let me go to my App settings .development .json, just like send grid settings used for email sending right same way we have to add the filio settings also okay create filio settings so we have to configure account sid authentication token and from phone number as well okay so account SID path token from phone okay let's configure these values
okay now let me create a class for this setting so that i can use those settings wherever i want okay so in the settings folder let me create a new class like twilio settings okay this is our twilio settings class let's add those properties Okay, let's duplicate it. And now we have to map the class and the settings in the JSON file, right? For that, we have to register in the program.cs file. Okay, just like this send grid settings, we have to register them as well. So copy this line and change the type to Twilio and also change this root property setting name. Okay. Now let me create a new service file for the SMS logic, okay? So inside of the services folder, let me create a new service file like Okay, ISMS sender service. Okay, in this in interface, let's define our method definition. I will name it like send SMS testing. And it's going to have two input properties like two phone. Okay and the message okay now let's implement for implementing this service let's create the one service class <coughs> sms sender service Okay, now let inherit our ISMS sender service. Okay, let's implement the method. So here we need to get the Twilio settings. So let's inject the Twilio settings. Sorry, we have to use I options. Okay. So this I option loads from the Microsoft dot extensions dot options. So now I can as a video settings dot value. Okay. Now To communicate or to invoke that Twilio service, okay, there is a package for .NET application. So let's install it. Such like Twilio NuGet package, and you will have one package like Twilio, and another package is Twilio ASP.NET Core. Okay, so let's install this core package. Okay, and Visual Studio 2022 users, you can copy this command. So here I'm using .NET CLI, right? So let me copy here. So let me open one more terminal and install the package. A package installed to confirm it, we know we can check the CS proj file. And here is the Twilio package. Let's get back to our service method, okay? So first thing is we have to in initialize the Twilio, okay, by inputting our account SID 
and authentication token okay so Twilio client that comes from Twilio library we just installed dot init okay so to this initial method we have to pass here if there is a username and password right nothing but our account SID and authentication token okay those are available through our Twilio settings account SID and path token okay and next simply we can write like await message resource okay that comes from okay let's import the namespace that comes from filio dot rest api v210 account so it's going to internally it contains logic for http call to the filio service for posting our message okay so message service dot create a thing okay to this method we have to do some configuration okay so we are going to use second overloaded method so here two phone number nothing but uh, the user number which we want to send the message so that comes from as a input to this method next from number from number is we already configured in the video setting and next body nothing but the message so that also coming as a input to this method so let me pass it here okay that's it everything will be taken care by these two line of code for sending an sms to the customer okay and i have and now finally let's register these two services in the program.cs file okay so just like email sender okay I SMS sender service SMS sender. Now, if I go to my two factor authentication page, so login to vector authentication page. So, here on get method, we have to send our token, right? Previously, we checked for email, right? Same way, I can write one more logic like. provider let's copy this one okay and check for phone number exist or not okay so this provider will return phone number when when our phone number confirm is enabled in our database okay and let me put it to else So here I am going to generate the token. So now this is not email. This is phone number, right? So the input parameter must be changed to phone number. Okay, because the token whatever is generated is assigned to the respect to provider name itself. Okay. Here we have to send the SMS. So let's inject the I SMS sender so I SMS sender service okay So let's inject the ISMS sender service. Okay, as in the SMS sender service. So now have it SMS sender service dot send a sync. And here we have to pass the user phone number. 
and the message. So I message I will send like OTP and I will pass the token here. Okay, that's it. And in the post async, we have to change it to phone number. So instead of hard coding, what I will do here in the input model, okay, this is the form model in our Azure page. I'm going to create a new property. Okay. To fact path provider name. Okay. I want to make the dynamic. Okay, now what I will do? I will assign it provider value here. It is a phone number executed. I will use phone number. Okay. So it will be input dot. Okay. Same way here I can use email. So I can simply assign this value in the post method. So here I can use that value. But to maintain its state, we have to maintain this value in the HTML as a hidden field so that form for in form post also it will maintain this value state. So let's go to HTML. Okay, just like this, remember me in the hidden field. I will create one more hidden field that is input dot or two factor code. Okay, that's it. I am good. Now I can check the phone number two factor authentication. Okay, and here is small correction we have to model. Initialize the input model. Okay. Now let's test. Okay, let's do login with valid password. Okay. Now let me wait for the code. So I got the code. Okay. Let's try to log in. See, I'm successfully logged in. Okay, here I can't show you my mobile, right? But I have already. But if you see, this is my blog. Okay, here I have added my mobile screenshot. Okay, so like this, you will get the code from the Twilio. Here you can see sent from the Twilio, and it is showing also it is my trial account. Okay, so that means we are successfully sent our to factor authentication to user mobile okay and here one more thing i forgot to mention okay the user two phone number must always contains country code okay if you don't have a country code added then two factor sorry will you unable to send the sms to the mobile number okay so make sure the user phone number contains its country code as well okay so that's all about the two factor authentication code sending to mobile user mobile so in the next video we are going to implement the google authentication using the asp.net core identity thank you so much for watching this video I hope this video delivered some useful content to you all. If you like my video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. And also, please don't forget to like and share the video. Soon we are going to meet with new content. Until then, signing off.